the Kenyans who give me this chance, I can produce a million jobs. Paid for. Because I see things that people don't see. Okay? And all the diaspora people that even went to Europe, they come through me. Yeah. Okay? I serve uh, a lot of people in the Middle East. Dubai, Qatar, Doha, uh, Germany, uh, Britain, uh, South Africa. VP karibu kwa mara nyingine leo tuko maeneo ya Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and of course ukitona hapa internationally tumekutana na an international celebrity kutoka hapa Kenya VP Asante sana I feel very welcomed in Kenya I want to take this opportunity to thank the dancers I really enjoyed the music and thank you so much for coming and I feel very privileged to come back home of course you all know if you don't know I'm a Kenyan by birth but now I'm a United States citizen. Yeah. And I'm very happy to come back home. Yeah. All right. And of course, uh, we have seen this dancer so right here. Wame kuja wame to dance here pale wakimba nyimbo za kilu ya hivi. Sato, let's talk about you. Mbona kachukua wale ma dancers, maybe, are you from the western part of Kenya? Ama, what, what's happening? Okay, so that's a very good question because I've been doing this for many years. And I'm very neutral. So people tend to, they've confused me as a Nigerian, as a West African. Okay, in Kenya, they really don't even know where to place me. Mostly they think I'm a Kisi or something like that. But I'm very privileged that my manager took time to recognize my background. So I'm a lawyer. Okay, I come from Umias. I'm a Wanga. Okay, specifically. I'm from the Wanga Kingdom. Okay, for those who did uh, Kenyan history, they understand that. Yeah, but uh, for all my followers, they know Janet has no tribe. Okay, yes. Or probably you can let us know for how long have you been away from home and what else, uh, what has actually brought you back home? Yeah, so I left this country in 2003. Um, but I've been coming home, uh, but specifically for me to come and empower Kenyans and other Africans 
I think I came here in uh, 2019 and I was on major newspapers. That time I don't think many people knew me. I was on national media, standard, I was with Jeff Koinange, I was with This Is S, I think on NTV, KBC. And so today I'm hoping that I make a bigger impact, okay? So today again I'm here to bring a message of hope to the Kenyans, okay? And you'll hear more about that. Uh, but yeah, I've made several trips. I came 2003, then my dad passed in 2006. I came... And then I stayed almost, I don't know, more than 10 years before I came back in 2019, and now I'm here today. Yeah. And of course, uh, talking about the impact that you've been doing all over the world, we have been seeing you helping uh, Kenyans to maybe to, or go, to travel outside the country to get job opportunities. Uh, can you tell us more about that? Yeah, so that's a very broad topic. Um, the empowerment is the big word here, okay? Um, so I've been doing this roughly for about uh, six to seven years. Uh, I realized that there was a knowledge gap. Uh, when I went to the United States, I realized that there were many communities, okay, uh, that were there in big numbers. And I realized that they were making uh, an impact in their own communities. And if you know that uh, when you go to the United States, the amount of money that people are spending here, it, it makes a big difference. So I said, you know, if I can empower people to have the knowledge, uh, so that they don't even need sometimes an agent. Mm -hmm. And also when they arrive in the United States and Canada, can they understand the right things to do mm -hmm. so that they have a brighter future? Mm -hmm. Because the people they leave behind, I'm sure some of you have heard stories, yeah. where sometimes you don't get a chance to see them again. Yes. And no one asks, how come? You know, we just question these things. And those, those are some of the things just among many things. But yes, I'll talk about in detail. Mm -hmm. Uh, how people go there, of course, I talk about student visas, visiting visas, J-1 visas, mm -hmm. green cards of all kinds. Most people know about the green card lottery, mm -hmm. but that's not everything. Yeah. Okay, so as I said, we could be here for another three days, but basically that's what I do. Okay, probably yeah. I would love to know, for how long have you been doing this and how many lives would you say you've impacted so far? Um, so I started doing this in... Um, I would say around 2015, I disappeared. I had some personal issues in my life a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, but then when I came back, I realized people were saying, oh, so, you know, thank you, thank you for coming back. Then I realized, oh, whatever I was doing was good. Yeah. And then I promised to stick around and I've never turned back since 2016. Uh, I, every week, every day, I make sure I do something to make a difference. Now, in terms of numbers, some of them are not quantifiable, but I can tell you that everywhere we walk in the United States now, most of the you know, diaspora people will testify that they came because they listened to my message. My, myself, uh, my data guy, I work with an IT uh, guy here. I think if he's here, he can give us the numbers. The people that I speak to specifically with my voice one-on-one -on -one and actually give them services, we are talking in terms of thousands, okay? Yeah, so I will just stick with thousands, not hundreds, okay? And to me, I feel like this is a big impact because of uh, empowerment. Yeah. Um, uh, many people believe, oh, you know, let's give them a scholarship. From experience, even a big company can give two scholarships or three scholarships. What is that? It's a drop in the ocean. Yeah. But what if you empower millions? You see, it becomes, you know, in my opinion, I've given more scholarships than anyone else can ever give on this earth. Wow. Okay, so that's my opinion. And I, I have evidence to back it up. Yeah. And of course, we just want to know, uh, probably since you've been helping people to travel outside the country, what are the misconceptions about, about you, uh, about this, this thing that you've been doing for, for a while? Uh, what people don't know about the, the work you do? Uh, misconceptions, probably, I would think some of them think probably I don't love Africa and I'm trying to brain drain people. Mm -hmm. Uh, probably I think America or Canada is more superior mm -hmm. and maybe that's the only thing I can think of. But I can tell you the, the response I get is mostly positive, okay? Uh, of course, some people say, you know, why can't you focus on Africa? And my thinking is I'm focusing on Africa, okay. okay? That is my thinking. If I'm empowering people from here and they bring back not only the money or the financial aspect, but the experience mm -hmm. and the cultures and everything, they make a big difference. Okay. And if it's in big numbers, I believe I'm helping Africa, actually. Okay. That is my thinking. Uh, speaking of Africa, would you say you've been able to help uh, people who uh, are not only from Kenya, but from other countries to go to the U.S.? 
That's correct. That's correct. So because I'm from here, of course, the social media algorithms tended to favor, you know, Kenya. I can say most people that know me are from here, but I serve the whole of Africa. Okay, most of my clients come from East, West, South and North Africa mm -hmm. and beyond. All the diaspora people that even went to Europe, they come through me. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. I serve a, a lot of people in the Middle East, Dubai, Qatar, Doha, uh, Germany, you, uh, Britain, uh, South Africa, Zimbabwe is a big one, Zambia is a big one, of course Kampala is a big one too. Yeah. Okay, so basically I've managed to capture the minds of most people mm -hmm. in Africa. Okay, and now yeah. that you are here, uh, you are here, do you have any events and conferences that are coming up? I have Ashley, my manager here. Um, I would like us not to miss that opportunity, but for anyone listening to me, by the way, I mean, there is JanetRangi67 at gmail.com, mm -hmm. but also I have a website called JanetRangi.com. Okay, mm -hmm. so if they, they ever miss anything, all they need is to know my name. But uh, Ashley, I don't know if you have any events. Yes, we have many events. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to, because I just landed. Yeah, yeah. You know, I just arrived. Mm -hmm. So I don't have the schedule. Mm -hmm. But I just want to tell people that, you know, I'm going to be very busy this week. Mm -hmm. So they, they need to stay tuned. Yeah. Okay, yeah. they will get a lot of information. Wow. Okay. And of course, um, personally, let's say I, I want to travel from Kenya to the US. What are the first things maybe you'll tell me, you will require from me maybe? For me to travel outside the, outside the country. You need to believe in yourself and be someone that takes action. You can't be someone that keeps talking about it. Yeah. But the first thing you want to do is to get a passport. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You can't be talking of US, US, and you can't even cross this, this, this uh, airport here. Mm. So the first thing I would say, invest in finding yourself a passport. Mm. Number two, follow Janet Rangi. Okay? Yeah. Uh, but just get informed. Get informed, understand what are the pros and cons of each kind of visa. We cannot just be thinking there's only the green card lottery. Okay? There are many ways people can go to America yeah. if they understand the pros and if they reach America, what can they do to do the right things so that they can succeed for themselves and the family and of course for the country. Wow. Yeah. Wow, thank you yeah. very much and you are welcome right yeah, here in you. Kenya. Yeah. Talk, to your, talk to your fans. I love you, I love you, I love you, Janet Rangi. Janet Rangi, I'm finally here in Kenya. Okay, I'm very happy to, to, to be in Kenya. Um, I just want to thank my followers. Honestly, without them, of course, I would be nothing. Um, they've supported me along the way with words of encouragement, always telling me, Janet, keep going, you're helping us. I love them because of the testimonials they come and tell me. I love when I hear from their parents. I love to hear when I see them in America writing to me. I love when I see them eventually nurses succeeding and, you know, succeeding in their careers and just making their families proud. So I specifically, I want to thank my followers. Uh, thank you so much for following me for all these years and for giving me the courage. Uh, because this is not an easy job, yeah. okay? It's a very difficult job. In fact, when I first started, most people used to fear for me because, you know, you are touching embassy issues, you're talking about the United States. Mm -hmm. But to me, I was like, no, someone has to do it, and that person is me. Mm -hmm. And uh, without them, I would never have done this. Wow. So I feel very privileged and honored that they actually take their time to follow me. Okay. Yeah. Janet, just uh, to add two more questions. My name is Kida, I work for SPM Bars. Welcome home. Thank you so uh, much. You being a professional have done so many great things. We've seen it on our Instagram. We see it on your TikTok. One question is that there are so many frauds, fraudsters in this game. You coming out helping so many Kenyans. The Kenyans who give me this chance, I can produce a million jobs. Paid for. Because I see things that people don't see. Okay? Uh, yes. So far, you can, uh, you, can, you can confirm to us. Yes. Is there money involved? Do people appreciate your work? Yes. Do you receive tokens of appreciation? Uh, second question is that uh, now, are you planning maybe to sit down with our CS um, to uh, maybe to discuss the issue of now Kenyans now wanting to exploit more opportunities outside Kenya? Okay, yeah, so that's a very good question. I'm glad you touched it. In fact, before I came on the scene and me having done this for many years, uh, fraudulent activities are, you know, very, very much, because this is a field where people believe when they get the opportunity, it will change their lives. And mostly they are willing to do anything. And so many people come to me, they say, Janet, I've lost thousands of shillings, thousands of dollars doing these things. So it's true. 
okay? The, the thing I bring on the table is the transparency. Uh, so what I've done, even if you go on my website, you'll see janetrangi.com that I've invested years and years of videos where people can use free information. I believe in empowerment, first of all, of course, but even with empowerment, these are not easy topics. And some people still want me to hold their hand. And if those people want me to hold their hand, then we go to an extra step where by now we have packages on the website. And those people now hold their hand and actually assist them through the process. Okay, so they have a choice. Some of them I get so busy, they're like, do for me this but I have thousands and I just tell them no I've put things in place so I have topics on every video that anyone can want to watch they want to empower themselves for free they can and I encourage that because if you're empowered you can do these things for yourself and I did that for five years just building my brand building my name making sure that everything is free of charge and then also making that and that has brought the, 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 the um, fraudulent levels down because with information, people are able to know what is true and what is not. So they have, they've started having the courage of doing themselves. And then number two, now they have a trusted brand. They know that even if I fail at the embassy, the work was done. The receipt was given. So that is what I'm bringing on the table. And hopefully many people can learn from me and say, you, you can succeed by doing the right thing. Okay? Yeah, so to answer your question directly... Yes, we do have free services, but for those who need our help, of course, they just go on our website, janetrangi.com or janetrangi67 at gmail.com, and we are more than happy to help them. Yeah. Second question. Regarding you partnering, maybe sitting, having a sit down with our CS. A CS means what? Uh, cabinet secretary. Cabinet. I'll be more than happy. I have a lot of uh, knowledge and um, abilities. Honestly, and I know there are many people on the streets and probably just discouraged, not having any hope. You know, when there is no hope and people don't see their way forward, that is when it creates this chaos, okay? But I think I provide the government and the CS an opportunity for them to tap into us. Because you see, the people talk a lot about diaspora, diaspora, but there is no action. And me, I believe in action. I don't talk, I work, I walk the talk. Okay, so if I'm given that opportunity, I will carry it very well. And the Kenyans will be very impressed. I can tell you that for sure. Uh, uh, sorry to ask this. Are Kenyans lazy? Are we perishing because of lack of knowledge? Is it that we want things to be done for ourselves? We don't want to do our own research? Um, I can tell you, having done this for long, give credit to yourselves. Kenyans are very, very good, okay? They are the ones who have brought me up, quite honestly, okay? They are willing to invest in something that will work for them. I can, and let me take this opportunity to thank Kenyans for that, okay? I've worked with people from many, many countries, and I can tell you Kenyans are willing to invest. They are willing to improve their lives, okay? Now, in terms of laziness, I'm not the right person to say that they are, la they are lazy. Uh, probably just having the information, as I said, which I provide. But then if we don't bring, if you have nothing to compare, you will never know. Okay, so I can see you walking, you think you are walking fast, but I've lived in a society that walks three times faster. But how will you know? Okay, you have to have that information. And that is what I bring on the table. And to answer your questions directly, if you have those numbers, yes, give them to me. My goal is to make an impact in my country. I know what needs to be done, and I know what the young people can do to succeed. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for showing up. Okay. Yeah. All right. Are we still running? Yeah, have a great day. Oh, thank you so much. And thank you so much for showing up at the airport. Okay. Yeah. Ashley, was that the program for today? Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you.